Welcome to Balances.com. Today we'd like to show you from VMC the VB302A1000 Digital Portable Scale. This scale offers 1000 grams weighing capacity by 0 0.01 gram readability. We have the scale turned on for you and we just want to show you the nice large, well, the auto shut off just turned off. So we'll power up the scale again. It does the countdown. You'll see the, all the segments illuminated and it's going through its countdown mode, testing the functionality of the electronics. Once the scale goes to all ones and a dash, it will go to 0.0, .0 grams. So we have here 0.0, .0 grams. You can see the weigh unit is in grams. On the right hand side you'll see the letter G. So we'll throw in a calibration weight and here's a 200 gram weight and it's 200 grams. And the scale performs decent. Um, sometimes the scale could be off. So what I really wanted to show about the scale is the calibration. It's pretty unique with VMC. So we can do this calibration either a single point or the scale offers span calibration. So to get into the cal mode, the standard calibration, one would just shut off the balance. They would power on the balance. And during the countdown, it's going through, it's going D, B, A, and then it's going to go 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way down. And when you see all the dashes, you'll press the zero key. So when we see all the dashes, straight line, press the zero key once, and cal will be displayed. And to get into the cal mode, we'll simply press the zero button again. And it states here that you need 1,000 grams to calibrate the scale. So what I wanted to show you is this scale offers the ability that you can change the calibration weight, which is pretty unique. So you'll notice that the, uh, the first decimal place is flashing, and we'll want to move the decimal place over. So to move, to move uh, the next segment over, we'll press the unit key. So now the 1 is flashing. And we're going to try to calibrate the scale. Instead of 1,000, we'll calibrate it with a 500 gram weight. So you simply press the piece count button, and so we'll increment, and we have it to zero. Now we need to move it over to the next spot, so we'll press the unit key to move it over to the right. And now we want to increment this to 500. We have 400. Now we have 500. And so I have a 500 gram weight. One simply puts the 500 gram calibration weight on the scale, and now we'll press the zero function key. And it's going to store the value and then actually store the 500. So the 500 gram weight is right on the money. And now, if you wanted to, we'll just put another weight on. Here's 700. Look, 700 grams, it's not the greatest. So if I want to change the calibration, we can change it and calibrate it to 700 grams. Same deal. We have to power up the balance. And when we see all the dashes, simply press the zero button and we'll perform the calibration. So we have all dashes, we have cal, we press the zero key again, it shows 500. I need to move this over, so I'll press the unit key. And then the piece key, tw the, the, the parts counting key twice. 700. This time we'll put 700 grams on. I'll put 700 grams on the scale. And you'll notice here on the left hand corner this little eye, that's the stability light. So once it's on, we'll simply press the zero and then we have 700. And so the scale, you can see the scale performs really quick and it's not bad for the money. I mean, this is a strain gauge based scale, so sometimes you have to recalibrate it a couple times. And I'll, and I'll show you. On this particular scale, and it's one of the few portable scales that I know of, we can do a five point calibration. And so to do a five point calibration, this is simply done by, again, turning on the scale. And this time, instead of pressing just the zero key, we're going to press the zero and the unit key together at the same time. And this is going to enable us to do a five point calibration. So once we're there, and so 
We press the zero in the unit key simultaneously. It shows a thousand. That's a thousand for a thousand gram capacity. One presses the zero key. It's showing you the division is to 0 0.01 gram. <clears throat> Press the zero key again. And here it says five and it says over here SEG. So this is a five segment calibration. Now if one wanted to change it, we can change this by simply pressing the unit key once. That would be a two point calibration. Press the unit key again. You can do a three point calibration, a four point calibration, or a five point. So it's a thousand grams weighing capacity. And if we're going to do five points, a thousand into five is going to be 200 grams. So that means we're going to need five 200 gram weights. And I do have those to do this demonstration. So we see five SEG. We're going to do a five point calibration. One simply presses the zero button. And this is a number that the A to D converter is seeing in it. And if you notice here, all the way over on the right-hand side of the display, it says S-O. So it's looking for the zero reference point with nothing on the balance at all. We have stability here on the left. We have that I displaying, so it's stable. So one presses the zero key. It's going to store the zero reference voltage. So I press it. And you'll notice now on the right-hand side, it says S-1. So it's looking for the first 200 gram weight. So I'll place the 200 gram weight on here. And again, these are random numbers coming out of the A to D converter. And once I have stability over here, I'm going to press the zero key again. And now notice again on the right, now we see S-2. So it's looking for the second step. So here's another 200 gram weight. And again, these are random numbers on the A to D converter and I press the zero key and it stored the second value. So now it's looking for the third one. You'll see S-2 on the third step of the calibration. And once I have some stability here, these numbers are gonna flicker around. This is the A to D converter. We're, we're, we're getting a lot of divisions out of a strain gauge based scale. So it is gonna fluctuate a little bit. And again, we'll just store that value. And now we have S4. So we put our fourth 200 gram weight on. And again, the numbers are gonna float around, but you'll get a stability and press the zero. And finally, we have S5, our last 200 gram weight. And the numbers are gonna be even more random now because this is a lot of divisions for a strain gauge based scale. So you'll see some fluctuation but we'll press the zero key and it stores the last value. So now we have a thousand and if we simply take off one, take off another, the calibration, you can see the calibration didn't hold the greatest towards the top, but we can redo the calibration. Um, the bottom line is on a scale like this, you have a strain gauge based scale, which is 1000 grams by 0.01 grams. So that's a hundred thousand divisions or increments. It's really impossible to get this out of a strain gauge, but the manufacturers are making scales to increment like that. Um, you will see fluctuations. You really have to go with a force restoration balance. But people that have limited funds, they don't want to spend $2,000 for a force restoration balance. This is what you'll get out of a strain gauge. Again, a low cost. Um, if you don't have the money to buy a real balance, I, I just want to show you the, the performance of it. I would highly recommend you buy the calibration weights. On a scale like this, you'll see that the performance is great during the beginning. You know, we got 100, 200, and then it's going to start going off. Now, if I calibrate it again on 500 grams, it will perform a lot better. But this is an astronomical lot that you're asking for a low cost scale. Um, I just want to talk about a couple more features. Um, the scale comes with a, a draft shield. Here's the uh, assembly drawer. This is all plastic. I don't feel like taking it apart and showing you the whole thing. Um, the scale has a backlight display, uh, removable stainless steel platform. This is just plastic that peels off. I don't feel like peeling it off and putting it back on. Um, the scale has a sprint bubble indicator. 
comes standard with the AC adapter. Uh, on the back it has an RS-232, which we really don't support, but if you're into RS-232s and you can figure it out on your own, fine. The bottom of the scale has four adjustable feet, and this scale also runs off of batteries. So you can either run off an AC adapter or six AA batteries. Um, low cost digital scale, but for people that don't have the money for a $2,000 balance, uh, this is what you get. VMC, it's a nice little small company, and uh, it might fit your way in needs. Please consider the VMC, and we have these in at balances.com.